guys, it's Alice and today I thought I would share with you my TBR for nonfiction in November. Now I've just sort of gone through my shelves today and picked out the nonfiction books that I have that I am the most excited to read. There's no way I'm going to be able to read all of these but I thought that having this stack to choose from could be kind of helpful. And I'm not only going to read nonfiction in November I don't think but I'm going to try to read as much as I can. Firstly, we've got a memoir, and it is The Woman Warrior by Maxine Hong Kingston. Every time I mention this book in a video, there are always several comments saying that they loved this book, which makes me really excited to read it. The story is obviously of the author, who is a Chinese-American who grew up in America, but throughout her childhood, her parents told her a lot of stories from China, like myths and legends and stuff like that. And I think the story is just about what it was like for her growing up. The second book I've picked out is A Truth Universally Acknowledged, and this is edited by Susanna Carson. This is a compilation of essays from 33 different writers on why they love Jane Austen, which sounds great. And this is one of those books that I've had on my shelves for more years than I can remember, so it's probably time to read it soon. I could say that about a lot of my books, but you know what I mean. Then we have got Asking For It by Kate Harding. This basically takes a look at rape culture in America, what it is, what's going on with it, and what can be done about it. And even though it's about America, I'm sure there are a lot of things in here that are applicable to, sadly, everywhere. And I think this is a very important subject that I would like to learn more about, so I think this will be interesting. Next, we have got 21 Lessons for the 21st Century by Yuval Noah Harari. I've read both Sapiens and Homo Deus by this author, and I really enjoyed both of them, so I'm thinking I'm going to like this. It takes a look at some of our current time's most pressing issues, like what we're gonna do about artificial intelligence, fake news, how to educate the next generation, and things like that. And I always feel like I come away with a new perspective on things when I read this author's books, so I'm looking forward to it. Then we've got another memoir and it is No Friend But the Mountain by Baruz Buchani. This is the story of an Iranian journalist who was detained and imprisoned on Manus Island by the Australian government. And I think it's just about what happened with all of that and what it was like to be there. I don't think he's there anymore because I think that the detention center isn't there anymore, but I think he still lives on the island, if I remember correctly. This has gotten all kinds of praise, so I'm very intrigued. Next we've got a sort of memoir slash true crime book, and it is Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepard. The author of this is a forensic pathologist, and in this we take a look at some of his cases, which is where the true crime bit comes in, but then we also take a look at what doing this job has done to this guy. I think when you've done over 20,000 autopsies, that's gotta have some sort of effect on you. I've also got From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Dowdy. In this one, this author has traveled around the world to see how different people and cultures deal with death and how they take care of their dead. And I think this author is a mortician. And what I think is really interesting about reading these types of books is that I feel like, at least in my culture, we're so very removed from the idea of death, like we just pretend like it doesn't exist. So reading about it is probably a good thing because it's coming for us all. Then we have got a historical biography that I have had for a very long time and I really need to read, and it is The Warrior Queens by Antonia Fraser. This is all about historical women who have ruled and gone to war. So we get to read about women like Catherine the Great, of course, Isabel of Spain and Elizabeth I, and loads of other women, which is always fun. Lastly, I've got two of these orange spined penguin nonfiction books, and the first one is The Drunkard's Walk by Leonard Mladenov. This is all about how randomness rules our lives. That's all I really know. 
I can't remember really why I got this. I think I read a really good review of it and I've heard a lot of great things about this author. The last one is They Can't Kill Us All by Wesley Lowry. This explores the Black Lives Matter movement, how it started and what's going on in America these days. And I've heard so many people have found this so enlightening, so I'm really looking forward to learning more about this. Okay guys, those were all of the nonfiction books I had to show you today. Like I mentioned, I've picked out way too many, I think, and I'd actually love to know if any of you have read any of these and think I should pick it up over the others. I'd also love to know if you're participating in Nonfiction November and what is on your TBR, and I will see you soon. Bye!